Hi there crafters, it's Louise with you today, welcome along and it is my first share for the month of July featuring the Kidaholic Kits July 2023 kit. A fabulous kit filled with some gorgeous 49er market papers in all the colours of the rainbow. I did actually struggle a little bit with this one because the papers are just so pretty I didn't know what to do with them. So hopefully I can inspire you a little bit this month to get in and use this most beautiful kit. I did to toy with the idea idea of, of stashing it a little bit and just keeping it for that special photo but I really need to challenge myself not to stash the beautiful collections. So let's get in and create my first 12 by 12 for the month. You can see that I have pulled some photos from my stash and when I look at a collection that's the first thing I do is I have a bit of a look through my photo stash and just decide what I think first of all might go with each collection and for this one I've chosen this um, it's actually a Christmas photo so it's from the 1st of December uh, it's a tradition in my house that my children always get some new Christmas pajamas so that's what I'm scrapping today now I've chosen the rainbow background paper and as you can see I am focusing on the frames but I also wanted to add just a little bit of black splatter so as beautiful as this um, rainbow sort of stripey paper is I just felt like it needed a little bit more and black is a great way to break things up now you can also see that I've cut a frame out of the piece of paper so I can use the external part and then I've used the green to mount my photo as well so because there's a pop of green in the um, actual photo that's what I sort of focused on in terms of this layout um, now I only want to use the square frames for this one and I'm kind of working in a, like a T sort of shape so slightly off center so to the left hand side but I'm focusing um, my frames in that sort of uh, T kind of layout across the middle and uh, from the top to the bottom. Now um, off camera I am actually going to stick these frames down with a little bit of tacky glue and I do that because long term the adhesive on the um, stickers and stuff like that it just doesn't last so for me I don't want to pull this out of an album later on and have all those from frames floating around at the bottom of the page so I give them a little um, little bit of tacky glue on the back just to hold them in place particularly as I've overlapped them because they're not actually stuck to the paper some are stuck on other frames now I go through the embellishments that came with the kit and as much as um, there are some beautiful embellishments it just didn't suit what I had going on here so I'm going to be a bit creative and pull a couple of things out of my stash but firstly I'm going to use just a little bit of cheesecloth and this is um, the purpose of this is purely just to separate that background from my photos so it just helps um, you know break up that busy patterned paper background with the addition of the frames and then it allows the photo to still be priority on the layout. Now again because I've popped that cheesecloth down I do use a little bit of um, double sided tape but mostly I use tacky glue just to hold that in place so that it's really going to stick to that cheesecloth through onto the paper. Now I had the black um, of the uh, splatters going on and I kind of felt like this page needed a border so I'm going to just messy with my finger go around with some black gesso you can achieve the same thing with some acrylic paint and what I want to do is just create that border around the outside and I think this really helps bring it all together it's the kind of messy border that matches the pack background paper um, and it helps bring the black in there as well all right I'm really happy with how this is looking it just needs a little bit more embellishing just to finish it off that tiny bit so I'm going to firstly add my journaling of course very important to make sure that you are recording what your memory is about even if you flip it over and write it on the back of the page that you create please make sure that you are putting a date a time uh, people's names if you need to because somebody one day might be looking at these um, layouts and they'll want to know what was going on why this was an important memory for you 
Okay, so out of the stash comes some stickers. My title, I'm going to pull from another sticker book and it is simply the word love off to the side just because it needed some kind of title. I'm going to add a couple of those enamel dots around in the um, background, but essentially this is a lovely, simple frame inspired layout for my first share of the month. So thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do so and of course check out Kidola Kids.